Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the third Sunday of Easter. We are being sent out to be witnesses of the Lord Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. For this third Sunday of Easter, I want us to capture what Jesus is trying to tell us. Yes, He is risen. As in the narrative of the Gospel, He appeared again to His apostles and disciples, and they were incredulous. After saying, Peace be with you, He said, I am not a ghost. I have bones and flesh. Look at me. And in order even to prove to them that He is real, He is not a ghost, He asked for some food and they gave Him big fish. And so he ate that in front of them. The reality that he has the same body with the nail marks, with everything that they can recognize about him through his body. And then he said that this is what I have been telling you all along, that the Christ will suffer, that I will suffer, and that I will rise up. And that you are now witnesses of all these things. So that you will proclaim, beginning from Jerusalem to the whole world, the good news of salvation. That is why also in the first reading, here comes already Peter and the apostles proclaiming the good news. He said that you have crucified the author of life. You acted out of ignorance. But then now... Repent and be converted so that the, your sins will be wiped away. The second reading tells us, in order to explain what Peter said in the first reading, your sins will be wiped away, in the second reading will tell us that Jesus is the expiation for our sins. And so, for us, two things that is happening from the readings, among many things. The first thing is this. In the reality of proclaiming the good news of salvation, of witnessing to Jesus Christ as the risen Lord, our body, just as His body, is the very proof of His resurrection. He is real. So also our bodies must be in tuned to the concerns of the spiritual soul, meaning to the concerns of what matters to God, so that with our body we make real, we make tangible the teachings of our faith, because the teachings are of our faith are just ideas, but they have to become the manner of our existence. That is giving witness in reality, just as Jesus his body became the vehicle of people touching Him, of people seeing Him, of people knowing Him, the risen Lord, truly alive. So also with our bodies, our activities, our programs, our mannerisms, our speaking, everything about our body may become the vehicle of proclaiming to others that my life is about God. My mentality is put into practice about Jesus Christ because my life is more and more becoming Christ-like, becoming godly. The second thing about the readings of, the, of this third Sunday of Easter is the idea is the fact of conversion and renewal. During this Easter season, the focus is new life in Christ. The focus is redemption, salvation. And therefore, to give witness to others that I am redeemed, therefore, my life is not lived from the past, from the old self. But now, living in the new self, attuned to the Lord, truly responding to what it means by repentance, conversion, renewal, 
and transformation of life. That is why, in as much as I am cleansed in Christ, I will pursue cleanliness of life. I clean my speech from bad words. I clean my thoughts from bad thoughts. I clean my actions from bad actions and truly always seeing to it that I choose to do the right thing and avoid what is evil. Therefore, for this third Sunday of the Easter season, I want us to consider one thing, to become, to become an effective witness to Jesus Christ. We can do that by seeing to it bodily our lifestyle our mannerisms our activities always coherent with christ teachings always seeing to it that we are walking in the right path on the other hand if we are indeed to walk in the right path and have a new life to pursue renewal and transformation, then indeed, we have to make sacrifices. We have, to, we have to discipline ourselves. And so, many times, we will encounter temptations, our weaknesses, and then we fall into sin. What can, so, so if we fall into sin, will we surrender? No. The second reading tells us, we have to live without sin. But if we sin, we have an advocate in Jesus, Jesus Christ, our Lord. So, we cannot remain in sin. We go right away to confession. Be encouraged to have this mentality that there is no sin greater than God's love and mercy. That is why we always must see to it that we live a life that is close to the Lord. We live a life that is in relationship with Jesus Christ. Because when we are in relationship with Jesus Christ, we will be away from foolishness. And we will see to it that we are striving, struggling, fighting out to have a good life, a godly life. That is why it is good to have a regular confession, to have a daily examination of conscience. So that we correct what is to be corrected in us. And we build up what is good in us. So that indeed we will have renewal and transformation of life. When the whole of our being become attuned to Jesus Christ the risen Lord. Then we become effective witness of our own faith. And effective witness of Jesus Christ the risen Lord because he himself will be radiating from your daily existence. God bless. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening and please subscribe if you have not done so. Give us a thumbs up and share this video to others.